All right, guys, so today I want to go over two important elements that both apply to real life and in Tarkov. Uh, one thing in Tarkov is always clear your surroundings. Don't go and loot until you have made sure the area around you is clear. Within reason, you don't have to do a 500 meter or 500 yard you know, clear, but at least clear the whole vicinity of the building that you're in, especially if it's a dark building. Uh, we're going to show you one clip on that, and then I also want to talk about dispersion. Dispersion is something that is good to have when you are in a party with multiple players, in both in real life and in this game, because what that does is it allows you to not all die in one burst from a machine gun. Uh, by having the ability of being about 10, 15 meters behind somebody, this actually allows you to be a flanking element for your team as opposed to what you're going to see in this actual video, uh, the second portion of this video. And then the third portion of this video is going to be another one of those, why would you loot bodies on the ground before you clear the whole area, especially if you've been hearing a gunfight in that vicinity or that area. Uh, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Uh, we're going to cut some of the looting down and healing and packing mags just to prevent this from going too far over uh, the 20 minute mark. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Now what we're doing here, we're shooting out all the lights because we're doing a night raid and a lot of people don't really bring MVGs. And if they do, uh, this is going to make it easier for us as well. So we're hearing gunfire to our right in the shanties. We're going to keep shooting out lights. And we're going to set up an ambush. Because once again, when people play night, they're usually doing objectives. big thing with this is you always want to check this side of the customs area because this is where people are most likely going to be proned out and shoot you while you're opening that door. This lip covers you completely. If you drop your backpack, they won't see you. So now we're going to fast forward to him running in. Now keep in mind, it takes a few extra seconds to fully clear this area. Don't do what this guy does. We're not going to take this guy head on. We're hoping he heads up and he doesn't run back where we are. There might be two of them, right? We want a free kill because if they open the door, we win, right? That's what we want. We already have the key. We can open it, but we don't want to get domed. Because that ain't right. This is why you full clear when you come in here. You don't ever just run up to the door. Because you never know. I'm not hearing any movement. Maybe they're being extra cautious. Walt, have you seen this gun, dude? You can buy a suppressor for it. With the suppressor on, it's 42 fucking... Vertical recoil, bro. What the heck? Sorry, dude. See? See how bad that is? You don't 
Do it. Don't do it. Don't freaking do it to yourself. Oh, definitely. Boss cabs. Right here, we're hearing players moving down. It's better to play smart than play dumb. We know boss calves are possibly down here. So we're going to let them deal with it. And then we're going to hit them as they come in. Understanding these angles will also help you survive more in this game. This shows you where to look when you come into these areas. Now this was actually a collateral. I didn't know that guy was back there. I thought he killed him. Pretty crazy, right? We're gonna go ahead and fast forward through. This is why you don't stack up like those guys. This is the exact reason you die faster than you should. That is why dispersion makes the difference. Because if this guy would have been out further or coming in from the other direction, they could have had multiple avenues to attack from instead of just dying. Uh, if we don't die, <laughs> Obviously, that's everywhere and everywhere you go, eh? Oh, friendly, friendly. <laughs> well, just because someone says they're friendly doesn't mean they are. That guy shot 0.5 seconds after we started shooting at him. The second one, that is. So don't go with this, like, if someone's talking to you, they're going to be friendly. That's not how that works. This game's always about your gear. As soon as they realize that you have more gear than them, Woo! nine that out was of scary. Times, they're going to kill you. He was a scav yelling, friendly, friendly. <laughs> no, dude. No fucking way. They would have saw the MVGs and they would have shot me in the head anyway. Hands down.
people always ask me, why do you hate interchange? Did you see that corner that he was sitting in? Couldn't see him for shit. So what we're doing right now is we're gonna push further back because we understand that they're using pistols. And that makes it easier for us. So now in this clip, you're going to see one person clears through a scav while his buddy is looting. And you're going to see he's going to make a vital mistake after we kill his friend. Now the vital mistake that his friend makes is that he continues to loot. Okay, that was a lot. Instead of repositioning and trying to kill us. Now these could be completely different and or separate scavs not playing together. Or maybe they just don't understand how to get a tactical advantage. <sighs> well, I don't know how we lived. I'll take it though. Another thing you guys didn't know is uh, psychologically, you, you hear when I do the exhaling, that's a stress indicator. Kind of. We still have our propital going. Hopefully it keeps going and we fill up all the way. That would be ideal. Another thing newer players and even some of the older players don't utilize is Propitol. Propitol is a painkiller and it heals over time. One of the biggest things you can have on you at any given time. Because it can be the difference between life and death. So what I'm trying to say is if you have the availability of Propitols you might as well use them. Because we went from 70 HP to 310 or 15 within the whole duration of what we were doing. And it didn't cost us anything but one slot. So see we're slow clearing through. It's another common mistake is players just run through. Don't do that. We know this is a hot zone. Ooh, actually, watching back the video, I heard someone's foot move to my left. If it wasn't for this non-player scout, Hands down, I'd be dead. Just grab bags and rigs and then search them in a safe place. Never search them on a body. This is how you get your survival rate up. Sorry, this is long and drawn out.
we're pre-painting because there could still be more in the area. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Oh, they don't stop. Nobody stops. <laughs>